Hi, my name is Leslie Barringer and I'm one of the team here at Presentation Guru. Today I'd like to show you how to add a timeline to your PowerPoint presentation. You can use this to share an actual timeline of a project or to highlight or show progression or simply reinforce the fact that your slides are connected and part of a cohesive message. OK, so let's get going and add a timeline to our presentation. Here I've used a template that's available on PowerPoint. You can use a template too, or you could use a blank slide or a presentation that you've already created and want to add the timeline to. So the first thing we need to do is add the line that will form the basis of our timeline that will run through the slides. So to do this, we go to Insert, Shapes, Lines, and click at the left side, drag along until your line reaches the other side. For the moment, we need the line to reach from one side of the slide right to the other. So if we want to edit the line, we can come up here, choose what type of line. We'll have a solid line and on the shape outline, we can choose the weight and we'll go a bit thicker and choose weight of the line. I'm now going to add the month of the year. You can use times, dates, anything that suits your particular message. But here I'm going to start with the first month of the year. And now we get to the interesting bit. We need to choose add and choose a particular transition to make the slide move in a way that will give us a timeline. So here we go, we select transitions, we choose push, but as you can see the default is pushing from the bottom to the top, which we don't want. So here we have effect options and we want to choose from the right. So click from the right and you'll see the direction of the transition change. So we have push and then effect options and from the right. I want to add two more slides so that we can really get a feel of how the timeline will flow in a presentation. Rather than start from scratch each time on a slide, we can use the duplicate feature. So we need to right click, select duplicate, and we get a second slide again, and we'll have a third. Obviously at the moment, we still have the same months of the year. So we'll just change those to reflect progression. And we can view what we've done so far and how this will work by clicking on the slideshow icon. As I click through the slides, you'll see that the line will show as a continuous line through the three slides, giving us the timeline feature and the sensation that the three slides are connected and we're moving along the line. At the moment, they're moving quite quickly. So I think we'll go back to the design and I'll show you how we can adjust the speed with which the slides move. To adjust the transition speed, we need to go to transitions, duration. At the moment, it's just a second. So we'll change that to 1.75. It's important to remember that because we're working after we duplicate it, we need to do the same for each slide. A 
and now I think you can see we've got a better time transition that looks more professional and a bit more sleek because it's going more slowly. So here we've created a very simple but effective timeline feature. You can now add extra detail, images, text and shapes to suit your particular branding and message. For example, by inserting a circle to the line, you can add a point which adds structure for you to then add more detail. We could also add a little more interest by changing the position of the dots and months on the particular slides. So let's copy the dot, add it to the next slide, but instead of keeping it in the same position, move the month and the dot along the middle. And the same with March, paste the dot, which again, move the month and the dot too. And let's see how that looks. So I think this works well, and you can see how the change in position adds a little extra detail to the presentation. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, we'll explore more complex timelines and features in future tutorials. Thank you for watching how to add a timeline to your PowerPoint presentation and hope to see you soon.